so low. What's going on, moviegoers all over the world? I am Ryan D, a Canola Ryan 680. I'm Juan the Cook Cranio. And why not Cloud X-Ray? And this is Alamo City Movie Talk, the new headquarters, ladies and gentlemen. We're still under construction, guys. Please bear with us. We got everything chaotic right now. Obviously, you know, we're we're trying to make things go a lot more smoother now, hopefully. Right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> I was all like, man. This, we literally <clears throat> set this up like 10 minutes. You're welcome. <laughs> I didn't. So. Whatever. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Cloud Strike helped me do the other stuff while we did, you know. We... They did all the heavy lifting. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys. Y'all ready for this Han Solo? Solo. I think it was cool. All right. Spoiler alert. Who killed Solo? Was it was it uh, Ben? Ben Solo? Or was it Kylo Ren? It was Leia. It's the same person. No, what? No, it's not. Plot twist. It's it was Leia. No, she told him to bring him She's home. She's saying Darth Vader and Anakin Skywalker is the same people? That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> no, that's 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 impossible. No, no, I'm not in this to you. I'm, All right. I'm telling you, it's Princess Leia. She told him to go get their son. It's her fault. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get to it. Charlie, get us started, man. man. Solo. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my rating. I'm going to give it 60 out of 10 because it was way better than I thought it'd be. Dude, I went whoa, in with whoa, low expectations. Whoa, 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 don't, don't, don't get us, whoa. What did you, the nine. I know, dude, <laughs> how do you give Solo a 60? Because I'm a huge Star Wars fan, but the fact that I went in with low expectations, it exceeded it. Okay. Uh, like, you, like, you don't... No, that's exciting, that's quiet. Okay, I wouldn't, oh, I wouldn't expect oh that. Oh my god. Perfect. Dude, every, every press screen we go into, it's like high above, all right. Okay. Uh, not all of them. I okay. Remember a few of the. But go on. Go on. But uh, okay, so I liked it. Um, I it was really great. The music. Um, I mean, it's not really a spoiler, but we don't really get the the scroll of the words like you know we usually mm-hmm. get. Um, the way they introduced Solo, like the theme, it was really great. Yeah. Um, Lando, played by Childish Gambino, Donald Glover was perfect. He sounded like uh the real guy. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't remember his name. Adrian Killig, whatever the guy that played Solo, whatever his name is. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the real Harrison yeah. Ford. Yeah, you know, he did pretty good too. Okay, yeah, because I mean, you know, we go into this movie already with so much low expectations because all the trouble, behind the scenes trouble. I mean, directors switching directors. Ron Howard took over. Uh, the rumors of acting coaches being there for the guy that's playing Han Solo. This guy hasn't really been in anything that much. And just, you know, it's just so much drama already behind the scenes of this movie going in. And I have any expectations. Well, I just had low expectations because how can you follow behind Harrison Ford? Mm. Not everyone. The second one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. was three hours wasted. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, oh, I mean, yeah, it's just so, so we go into this movie already with like just already catastrophe wait, awaiting us. And everyone was talking about it. Everyone had, already had this momentum going, this sad momentum going. And it's just... Crazy stuff, but overall, I mean, it, it came out pretty good. I mean, listening to people's it. reactions before the movie, yeah, everybody was like, Oh, what do you think? What do you think? And they're like, eh, I'm a little worried, mm-hmm. but after everybody was like, Oh my god, it was really good, I loved it, and I agree, okay. I, I thought it was good. Okay, um, Clockstra, what do you think? My rating, uh, an eight, an eight, okay, that's good. It, it was really good again, low, ex- very low expectations, not because. Well, again, it's gonna be hard to follow us up ahead and turn forward, mm-hmm. but just because the trailers we don't get much of the plot. Mm-hmm. Um, really, what I think was is selling the movie, it's um, Amelia Clark and mm-hmm. Donald Glover, and I think those are the Mother two celebrities. Mother Dragons. Yeah, I kept are, saying that over and over. Those dude. are the two celebrities so I think are bringing Mother revenue into dragons. it. Um, it was good though. Like my expectations yeah. were really low for it. Um, my daughter surprisingly really loved it, and she goes to me all the press screenings. <clears throat> uh, it was not. As funny as the other Star Wars movies, the last two we had. Yeah, I'll agree with you there, man. So this one, I think Disney took the right direction, not making it Disney a comedy. Could, yeah. I will say this, though, uh, interrupting you a little bit. I will say this, though. Like, in the beginning, we did get a lot of jokes that a lot of people weren't laughing to. Which, honestly, when I counted it, it was weird. I was counting it, too. I was just like, I got one out of seven jokes that people laughed. And I was laughing, and we laughed with the audience. And it tones down. The, yeah. It tones and, down. And then it just, like, I was just, okay... This guy's trying to over joke something. Like he's trying to create something. He's trying that's not to be yeah. Han Solo. Like the, he's, he's trying to be Harrison. Don't blame Ford. him though. It's the writers. <clears throat> Guys, come on. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's the, no. It's the way you say it. Yeah. He's, he was trying to be Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford had that charisma. 
you know, when he was saying things like in episode four, he's like, we're good, we're good, how are you? Like, I felt like he was trying to do that. I think that's what the writers were trying to do. They're trying, trying to... to... But regardless, nevertheless, it was already a catastrophe to begin with. The Star Destroyers, though, I did love how they were constructing the Star Destroyers when we get um, uh, that already in there, too, as well. I mean, just, I mean, we're getting a lot of, uh, a lot of things that I did want to mention, though, was... The stormtroopers. Now we did get a little glimpse of them from the trailers, and they look even more better in this film. I would say, like that's not a spoiler. We knew stormtroopers were going to be in here. This is during the Empire times. We get and, both Rogue One and yeah. Episode Four troopers. Yeah, I, I I loved it. I loved it so much. Uh, also, did uh, what I did love was the chemistry between Han Solo and Chewbacca. Now when now the introduction, I felt like the introduction could have been a lot more better when they first come in in their in their uh, inter action with each other i felt like they should have been a lot b more cleaner it just felt like too forced for me i thought um, it was perfect um, you thought it was perfect it was okay sure. i think we'll i think we'll touch up on that on our spoilers yeah it yeah. was it was a little too forced uh <clears throat> what did they need yet guys um probably more action scenes yeah in my opinion that i honestly i i could probably take a Probably about like 10, 15 minutes of this footage out. Like I could, I could come up with ten or fifteen. They need minutes. less. They need more. Yeah, yeah, less. I it did drag on. Yeah. The middle of the drag, that's what I'm saying. It needed I more action take it out. scenes. Yeah. Not that it was, it wasn't entertaining, mm -hmm. but it wasn't exciting. Mm -hmm. but. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, Donald Glover, man, man, he was like, I liked Lando, even though he was. This movie should have been about Land. Like it just Lando was a. Uh, Donald Glover was a he better was actor. He was very charismatic yeah. when he spoke. I like that. Yeah, like he that that's pure Lando. Like he sounded just like him how it does in the in the animation series with Rebels. He sounds just like him, period. And I did love it because the way he speaks and emphasizes everything is and the way his charmingness, I mean everything just charisma. <laughs> Kazoo type. <laughs> but I mean, I did. I, I mean, I loved it. I loved it so much. Donald Glover, like this guy, uh, he's going to be, he's going to be a great Simba. We're, Disney, let's take a hold of him. He's coming out Simba. Y'all didn't know that? He's going to yeah, be Simba. No, yeah, but nah. I wouldn't have put two and two together. <laughs> Which have been yeah. in Disney before. He's in Spider-Man Homecoming. Mm. He's going to be in the uh, Miles Morales. Is he really? Yeah, that was his uncle. In the animated movie. No, in, in Homecoming? Oh, in Homecoming, yeah, yeah, Homecoming yeah, that yeah. was uncle, but yeah, I'm saying yeah. they're making a Miles Morales animated film. Oh, I, I don't know if he's going to be in that yeah. one. But uh, was, uh, was this the film we deserved? Yes. Yes. I, I enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to... I didn't think it was going to enjoy it, but I actually yeah. left the theater not upset. Yeah, <laughs> me too, man. Everyone, I think everyone came out of the theater coming, and everyone came in blazing. They were just like, I'm relieved. This was yeah. good. What was your reading? This was good. Oh man, okay, so I'm gonna have to rate this from one to ten. I'm gonna have to rate this a seven, man. Seven. I have to rate this okay. a seven, yeah. Just because I loved this was a Han Solo movie, but I loved Lando more. I don't know. It's just that kind of Who's the voice of uh, the that robot? Kind of, the Oh, I didn't know. I oh, didn't know. Oh, but I could tell you who's the voice of that uh, of that creature in the big uh, what do you call that, that creature? Little yeah, the little forehands. It's like John Fabio, he does the voice of that guy. Oh really? Yeah, huh. he did the voice. I kept, I kept, I kept like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I kept hearing it in his voice. I was just like, dude, freaking. Uh, Would it be a spoiler? To oh yeah, it is a spoiler. To say that one of the, <laughs> we'll get to that movie. One of the original trilogy characters shows up. Oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Duh, stupid. <laughs> well, how's that not a spoiler? Yeah, no. how's that not a spoiler? Spoiler. Uh, so, would we recommend this, guys? Yes. Okay, awesome. Recommend it. I would recommend it, but if you haven't been to the movies in the last month. I recommend Avengers, Deadpool, and then Han. We've had yeah. some pretty good weeks. Yeah. We had a pretty good last three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. May, the month of May. It's May's been, been good. May's so, been good I would recommend us. it, but watch to get Avengers started. first, watch Deadpool yep. first. To get us started for uh, summer movies, guys, which is our busiest season. <clears throat> Cannot wait. Uh, would you buy this movie, guys? Yes. Steelbook. I'm going to buy it. Steelbook. We're not sponsored. You know, I really hope it comes in a Steelbook case shaped like the Millennium Falcon. I probably I won't buy it. Don't. Yeah. What? I probably won't buy it. I'd buy it. Probably not. <laughs> I bought every single Star Wars movie, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to get it. Um, but, you know, on that note, we know it's not an episode. We know it's nothing like the episode. This is a separate story. But out of all the stories we've gotten, which was Rogue One, compared to this Rogue One, because these are separate side stories that they, that Disney's telling us, which one's better, Rogue One or this one? This one. I'm going to say Rogue One. I like this one better. 
Do you like this one better? Because Don't Rogue One's very, very predictable. Mm. I tell you the ending in episode four. <laughs> well, yeah, duh. <laughs> Besides that, <laughs> yeah, it was just, just the way the story played out. Yeah. Okay. In Rogue One. I'm, was, I'm, okay. Like you knew what was gonna happen. Without watching episode four, Rogue One <clears throat> was predictable. Okay. Like wow. with this, with this one, I was really hoping to see where the ending was gonna be. Like, was he gonna end up in Tatooine, or was he gonna end up somewhere else, or, mm. or where? Like you know, for the ending. Naboo. What? Naboo. Yeah. Oh. Hashtag Naboo. Hashtag Queen. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Natalie Portman. Um, <laughs> Alright, guys. I thought she would have been dead. <laughs> As always, I am your host, Ryan D, a the Ryan 680. I'm Juan the Cook Cranial. Why not cut extra? And do not go anywhere, guys. What's coming up to you next is our spoilers review. So the scrolls the scrolls are going right now. Wake up, wake up.